Hey, what's up everybody? Dustin here with Rocky Mountain ATV MC and today I'll be showing you how to test the regulator rectifier on your motorcycle or ATV. All right, so today we're going to show you how to check and test a three-phase regulator rectifier. Now, if your bike has a battery on it, you more than likely have one of these installed on it. Now, what it does is it converts AC current, which is alternating current, that's produced from the stator to DC current, which is direct current. Now, this is necessary so that it can charge up the bike's battery and replace the energy that is being used by the bike's electrical system. So today we're going to show you how to test it and cover a couple ways on how to tell if your regulator rectifier has gone bad. Now to check your regulator rectifier, you will need to pick yourself up a digital multimeter. Now you can find these at your local hardware store and they can be relatively cheap. Now the only setting that we're going to require for today's test is the diode check. So when you pick up your multimeter, make sure it has at least this setting. And as always, before performing any service on your machine, be sure to check your service manual for proper safety information, torque specs, and procedures. So there are two different types of regulator rectifiers that can be found on ATVs, side-by-sides and motorcycles, both dirt and street. Now what will dictate which type of regulator rectifier you have will depend on the demands of the machine's electrical system and the stator that it has been paired with. Now the two most commonly used regulator rectifiers are single phase and three phase. Now the three phase are most commonly found on much larger motorcycles, both dirt and street, as well as the larger ATVs and side-by-sides, both sport and utility. The single phase regulator rectifier is most commonly found on smaller ATVs and dirt bikes. Now both the single phase and the three phase are designed to regulate and rectify the AC current depending on the demands of the machine's electrical needs. Now the single phase regulator rectifier can be found again on smaller machines that are running either AC CDI or DC CDI ignition systems that don't require as much power as compared to machines that run the three phase that typically have headlights, signals, horn and or multiple cylinders. Unlike the three-phase regulator rectifier, the single phase doesn't have a universal test that can be applied to it. So when it comes to testing the single phase, be sure to reference your service manual on how to do just that. So today we're just going to be focusing on the three-phase regulator rectifier and showing you how to test it. Now before we go testing the regulator rectifier, you need to be able to tell which one is which. Now the three-phase on its single connector is going to have three distinct wires. They're all going to be colored either white, yellow, or black, and they will all go into one single connector. Now on the single phase, it will not have three of the same colored wires that go into one single connector. So that's how you tell the difference between the two. Once we've identified the component that we're going to test, we need to isolate and de-energize it from the bike's electrical system. So to do that, we need to make sure that there's no power going to the component, and then we need to disconnect it from the machine's wiring harness. Now there's two different tests that we can perform on the three-phase regulator rectifier, and that is forward bias and reverse bias. Now forward bias, meaning that we're gonna supply the regulator rectifier with a small amount of electrical current from our multimeter in the path that it's designed to go through a diode. Now to do that, we're gonna take our multimeter, we're going to select the diode check setting, and then we're gonna take our multimeter leads and connect them to the regulator rectifier. Now for forward bias, we're going to take the negative lead we're going to connect it to the positive line on our regulator rectifier. Then we're going to take the positive lead from the multimeter and we're going to test each one of these connections here in this single connector. So for the first one, now the spec that you should be getting is anywhere from 0.3 volts DC to 0.5 volts DC. If your meter reads OL, stands for open line, meaning there is a break in the wire and you're not making a connection inside, the regulator rectifier is bad. So we'll perform this test for all three of these connections. Then we need to swap our meter leads, and this is how we're gonna test our reverse bias. So we're gonna take our red meter lead, put it on the positive side of our regulator rectifier, and then we're going to test each one of our three connections here in this single connector. Now we should not be getting a reading while performing this test, the reverse bias. Now what this means is we are changing the direction of the small amount of electrical current that we're flowing through the regulator rectifier. So once this electricity meets the diode, it's designed to stop and it cannot pass through it. It can only pass through the diode and forward bias. Now once we've performed this test on the positive side of the regulator rectifier, we will perform the same forward and reverse bias test on the negative side. So for forward bias, we'll take our positive meter lead and connect it to the negative cable. Then we will take the negative lead from our multimeter and test it to 
the, each of the three connections in the single connector. And then we can perform the reverse bias test on the negative side of the circuit of the regulator rectifier. Now remember with the reverse bias test, we do not want to be getting a reading on our multimeter. If you see open line on your multimeter when performing this test, you're still in good shape. Now if your regulator rectifier has failed one or more of these tests, it means that it is bad and you will definitely want to get it replaced. Now other ways on how to tell if your regulator rectifier has gone bad are if you've ever had a swollen battery in your machine, odds are the regulator rectifier has gone bad and is no longer regulating the amount of voltage that is being supplied to the battery. So basically it's overcharging it. If this is the case, you'll definitely want to replace the regulator rectifier as well as carefully remove the battery and dispose of it properly. Also, if your bike is continuing to just go through batteries, it could be one of either two things. Either your stator has gone bad and is no longer putting out volts AC, or the regulator rectifier has failed altogether. Now, if you'd like more information on how to test your stator, be sure to check out our how-to video. And if you'd like more information on charging systems in general, see our how-to video on how to test your charging system. And that's it, that's how you test your regulator rectifier. Now, if you have any questions as to what we've done here today, feel free to leave us a comment below and we'll be sure to get an answer back to you. As well as don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more product spotlights, how to's and top fives and see our website at RockyMountainATVMC.com where we have the largest selection of parts, apparel and accessories for your motorcycle, ATV and side-by-side. -side. I'm Dustin with Rocky Mountain. Thanks for watching and keep turning those wrenches.